You killed them. Even though they did terrible things, the decision of who should and should not live was never and never will be yours to make! I should slap you. Hm. Not to mention that during this conversation, I could have groped you at least five times. Okay, so let's say maybe four times. This is Trigun. Now I'm gonna give you some little backstory about these guys. So these guys are from the 90s, so it's probably roughly like 98, 95. And it's an old school manga anime or manga. Um back in the days and it was pretty it's pretty dope, you know, it's kinda like a wild wild west type of thing, gunslinger. Um it's hilarious, but it's also some awesome, awesome, awesome illustrations. Uh, this is when anime was, or manga, was actually illustrated. This is uh, Kyoto, right? And then this is McFarlane. Um, it is all Trigun, but this is the McFarlane version. You could tell he's more of a statuette, where for these guys right here, you could tell they have a lot, way more articulation. Um, Merle, Fascist Stampede, um, Moven the, the Gale, uh, this is the Peacemaker and uh, Nicholas D. Yeah, Wolfwood. So these guys are badass. I've had these guys for such a long time. And they never really... I mean, they're just dope as is. But this guy created a diorama for them. Just have to. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my display case, it just they're just there. And I just, I just really want to just have a nice display for them. Um, so what I'm going to do with today's diorama, it's going to be... The desert scene. These guys are always in the desert because they're like, you know, wild, wild west. So I'm thinking of doing a sunset with some canyon red rocks terrain. And that's basically it. It's going to be not that complicated. Again, I'm, I'm going to show you guys that, you know, you could do full crazy dials with, you know, three or four walls, or you could just make a dial depending on your display case so you know something simple with just a nice terrain and then a nice background and that's it yeah, so that's what i'm gonna do today guys and yeah let's get to it so right now i'm just measuring this area here this is my trigun space took them off Basically, I sprinkled all the, the powder and the rocks, and hopefully by tomorrow, everything should be uh, solid. But now it's gonna do a black wash. Now the pieces are done, right? So now 
And this is the idea. Alright, this is the idea right there. Okay. Just gotta paint it. And I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna paint it first with the base. Then I'm gonna go with the airbrush to to go into the into those areas and just give it this nice sandy look. And then after that I'm gonna dry brush it. That's the direction I'm gonna go about this right now. So I'm getting ready to paint this and I just randomly just started looking at my materials and just you know what? I'm gonna experiment. So normally I use acrylic and I and I am gonna still use acrylic but today I'm gonna incorporate incorporate um spray paint as well. Um the reason for it is because Usually you avoid spray paint so that it doesn't eat up, eat up your phone. In this case, I want it to eat up my phone. So this is a perfect solution for a nice base. Then I'm gonna go into it with airbrushing and then I'm gonna finalize it with some dry brushing. And then if I have to go back into it and do a little bit of a, of a black wash, I will to bring it back out. But that's my train of thought for for this dial. Alright guys, so yeah, um, this is the result. It came out pretty good. It looks good right now. It actually looks very good. But, <clears throat> I can take it to the next level. So I'm going to play with a little bit of dry brushing. Just to give it another layer of color and bring out some highlights. Right. <clears throat> it's looking more like a rock so real selective areas because also I want to keep the sandy look <clears throat> real selective areas I'm able to dry brush and in other areas it's probably best not to you know unless it's necessary <laughs> see it's it brings out you know you gotta be very selective and then if you feel like if you feel like it's too white right you keep brushing it down and believe it or not you're, you're making it duller so <clears throat> that's the best part about dry brushing is that you can correct your mistakes or you correct the amount of highlight so you could kind of calm it down. That's why they call it dry brushing, I guess, right? So, see, there you go. Look at that. It's not. A, it's not as white as it was before. It's a. It's a tad green, but I could go over with the airbrush. It's supposed to be more like weeds, you know, just like almost like hay, but I could. Put some bronze on it.
Alright, ta-da! It's done. So here's all of them. Here's all, here's all the figures all together. Using this mostly just to showcase my Trigon collection. Okay. Um, I mean, I can use this for toy photography. I definitely could use any character and put them in this scene. What you see here is basically a terrain of kind of like a desert canyon, red rocks type of of uh, environment. Because that's basically in in the whole show. There, it's kind of like the Wild Wild West. But I did I did step up my my boundaries by using rocks, using little bushes. Um, it gave, it, it's giving it a little bit more texture. I know other people were telling me is that how come I don't use this technique when I do bricks? And you know, maybe, maybe, but it's like for this particular dial, you know, I'm looking for rocks, I'm looking for dirt, I'm looking for desert, I'm looking for like blazing sun canyon type of rocks. And it, it, did, it did great. It did great. You know, um, I used I used fabric detergent and I used a mixture of sugar, and uh, it worked. It worked, and I just started throwing pebbles everywhere with um, with adhesive glue, and it came out really good. So yeah, guys. I mean, it's a simple build. So if you, you know, if you guys just want to dis you know make a display for your toys and leave it as is. Then boom, you know it's this is perfect. This is perfect for that. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please write a comment, hit that like button, and please subscribe. All right, guys. Later.